Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So I thought I'd play this speech, and this is from 10 years ago, unbelievably. Um, I was watching another YouTube, and I saw this clip, and thought, oh, that's interesting. I'll go and look it up, and I found out it's like from 10 years ago. I couldn't quite believe it when it was said 10 years ago. But um, yeah, you got to watch this speech. I think it's uh, really incredible. It's guy from a guy called Godfrey uh, Bloom. And he's part of uh, UKIP, or he was part of UKIP. Um, I don't think he, he is now. Now, let me just say, I'm not a fan of UKIP, but, um, you know, credit where credit's due. This is a great speech. And, um, and this explains, really, why you need to hold some Bitcoin, okay? And why cash is trash. So let's have a listen to this. Uh, well, uh, Commissioner... Um Mr. President, uh, I rise again, I'm afraid, to make the same old hoary speech that I've been making here for several years, and that is, it is my opinion that you do not really understand the concept of banking. All the banks are broke. Uh, Bank Santander, Deutsche Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland, they're all broke. And why are they broke? It isn't an act of God. It isn't some sort of tsunami. They're broke because we have a system called fractional reserve banking, which means that banks can lend money that they don't actually have. It's a criminal scandal, and it's been going on for too long. To add to that problem, you have moral hazard, a very significant moral hazard from the political sphere. And most of the problem starts in politics and central banks, which are part of the same political system. We have counterfeiting, sometimes called quantitative easing, but counterfeiting by an, any other name. The artificial printing of money, which if any ordinary person did, they'd go to prison for a very long time. And yet governments and central banks do it all the time. Central banks repress the amount of interest that rate, rates are, so we don't have the real cost of money. And yet we blame the real retail banks for manipulating LIBOR. The sheer effrontery of this is quite astonishing. It's central banks. It's central banks that manipulate interest rates, Commissioner. And plus, underneath all this, we talk loosely, in a rather cavalier fashion, do we not, about deposit guarantees. So when banks go broke through their own incompetence and chicanery, the taxpayer picks up the tab. It's theft from the taxpayer. And until we start sending bankers, and I include central bankers and politicians, to prison for this outrage, it will continue. Great run. And it's unfortunately it's still going on 10 years later, but hopefully Bitcoin will change all of that. Um, so he was spot on in that, in that speech. That was a great speech by him. Well done, sir. Hats off to you.